Hi everybody, welcome to School of Prophetic Fire. I'm your teacher, your friend, and your host, Ann Finkelman. And today, you're gonna to be delighted that you tuned in. I'm so glad that you joined us. And if this is your first time finding us, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Shoshana Ministries International. We have a lot of exciting things going on at this ministry. This ministry is called of God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, his son, Yeshua, Jesus and the precious Rock Kadash, the Holy Spirit of the living God. And this is, as I said, School of Prophetic Fire. You, this is a one-on-one -on -one teaching to you, beloved of God, so you can grow in the things of the Spirit of God. Amen. And so if you want to find me, you find me on Facebook Live. And you find me on YouTube. You find me on Rumble. You find me at Shoshana Ministries. Dot net. That's our official web uh, website. S H O W S H A N N A H. Shoshana Ministries. Net. And you can find out about the ministry. Find out what our vision is. If you want to bless us with a financial gift, we thank you to help me continue pierce the dark to pierce the darkness with the light of God's word. But I've received this from heaven freely. I've received freely. Give. You can't put a price on the preaching of the word, but you can sell a love gift. Okay. The Bible tells us if we give unto you spiritual things, if people are, and they're getting blessed, they should give unto us carnal things, which is monetary things and monetary blessings, which is money, okay? Or other things, whatever God puts on a person's heart. But we do this for free as unto God, and God pays us. God pays us. Nobody, listen, nobody pays us like God pays us, amen? And so if you have it in your heart to, to sow, Go to our website, ShoshanaMinistries.net, and click on the financial gift page. And listen, this is a messianic prophetic ministry. God will bless you. So I wanted to talk today about fearing not. You know, we have other videos. We have, uh, well, let me, let, we have other videos. We have um, on fear not, okay? But this today, God said, people are in a crisis that are watching this, and surround, you know, surround yourself with people that speak faith, don't surround yourself with doubters, beloved of God. And so God spoke to me years ago. I used to be eaten up with fear. Oh, my gosh. I would, I can't even tell you. I would close the windows down when it got dark. I would tuck in all the crevices anybody could look through. I would run home if it got dark. I'm talking as a child. And when I got saved 47 years ago, God supernaturally delivered me from the spirit of fear. Okay? And I've had some crisis in my life over the years, as you have, beloved. I've had some uh, rough things happen, okay? I've had car crashes. I've had near-death experiences of drowning. I've had uh, uh, surgery, you know, and things that were very serious. And God delivered me out of them all. And fear was never a factor because God has taught me. Okay, don't say I've arrived. No, I haven't arrived. But I've, I've close enough what I feel to God that I say, God, I have no fear. Oh, God, I don't want to sound prideful, but I want to teach you what little I've learned, beloved of God. And there is a place with God. There is a place near to the heart of complete rest, near to the heart of God. And that's what I want to talk to you a little bit about today. So the children of Israel, they were, and I'm going to pray for you. And if God moves in the spirit of God and the giftings, I'm going to just pour it out. Amen. You could find me again on Facebook. You could find me on Rumble Live. You could find me on Rumble. You could find us on YouTube. You could find us at our official website. And uh, this is School of Prophetic Fire. And just type in Ann Finkelman, and it'll all come up. We've been out there for many years. And to the glory of God, amen. And Exodus chapter 14, the children of Israel had just been delivered out of the house of bondage, out of the house of Pharaoh after 400 years Oh, beloved of God, 400 years of suffering, okay? And now um, they're delivered. And so they're running from Pharaoh. Pharaoh uh, decided to chase them again after, after they, got, they were freed out of, out of Egypt. And they had the Red Sea in front of them. And circumstantially, that could be anything that's blocking you, anything you're facing that causes fear to come any kind of operation, any kind of uh, trauma events, beloved of God, any kind of uh, family event that's, that's hurting you, anything that would bring cause fear to come, okay? Maybe walking in the nighttime, maybe a stranger gets in the elevator with you, you know, maybe somebody standing by your car. I mean, fear is a monster. 
And I learned a long time ago that, that fear, up, fear activates Satan the way faith activates God. Let me say that again. Fear activates Satan and his kingdom, and faith activates God. So we want to stay in faith, beloved of God. Amen? And so Exodus, they were afraid. They had, they had the Egyptian army pursuing them and chasing them and threatening them. And then they're like, where do we go? Where do, what, what do we do? What do we do? Yes, the Red Sea was in front of them, okay? And so they looked to Moses and said, what do we do? Oh, what do we do? 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 And what happened? Moses stretched out. God said to him, stretch out your staff. He stretched out his staff over the Red Sea. And you all know the story in Exodus chapter 14, 13 and 14. The sea parted, the sides of the Red Sea, they, they, they parted. That was a mighty, mighty sea. God parted the waters for his children, and God will part the waters for you. Amen, amen. And so here's the account of it. And many of you may know this story. And for those of you who, who don't, Today you're going to be blessed and be introduced to it. And many of you that know it may be reintroduced to it. Exodus 14, verse 13. They're facing, they were crying out to God, what do we do, what do we do? And Moses said to the people, fear ye not, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today. For the Egyptians, for the enemy, whatever's plaguing you, beloved, whoever's bullying you, whoever's chasing you, whoever's threatening you, whoever's dragging you into court, whoever is saying you have to go to the doctor, you have to go to the hospital, whoever's threatening to leave you and take your children and take your money and take your car and, and, and throw you to the, you know, to the dogs, whoever's saying that, that's an Egyptian to you. God says, today he will show you for the Egyptians whom you have seen today, that adverse circumstance, that speaking serpent, that talking snake that's trying to hurt you, child of God. God says, the people that you see today that are saying those things to you, you shall see them again to torture you no more, more, no more forever. For Isaiah 41.10 says, fear not. For I am with thee, be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen thee, God says. I will help thee, God says. I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness, says the Spirit of the living God. And so, whatever you're facing, my precious audience, God says, fear not, he will deliver you. And Nahum 1.9 says, affliction shall not rise up a second time. No, it won't. And the Lord shall fight for you, Exodus chapter 14, verse 14. And you shall hold your peace and be quiet. Just trust God. Just trust God. And the Lord said unto Moses, Why do you cry to me? Speak unto the children of Israel. Speak unto my people. I'm speaking to you today by thus saith the Lord. And go forward, that they go forward. Don't listen. Don't let this stop you. You know how many times in the ministry that all this mess called adversity tried to stop me? Did I always make it? Yes. Did I always obey on point? No. I fell down. I had emotional breakdowns. I was traumatized. I was uh, sometimes numb in the spirit where I, all I did was cry and cry. So I'm speaking out of experience, beloved of God. God has brought me through and he has healed my heart, and he has put my feet on a high place, and he will bring you through. He will heal your heart, for he's no respecter of persons, and he will put your feet on a high place, beloved of the living God. Yes, 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 yes. And so, and so he said, why are you crying unto me? He said, why, why are you crying unto me? He said, go forward. Go forward, okay? And so whatever you have to do, so what I'm doing here, the preaching, the preach all these angels, I feel them, these angels. So the preaching of the gospel, beloved of God, go forward. I had to go forward. I said, God, you are my strength. You will help me. I will get up. I heard the Lord say, get up and go forward. So I say to you, go forward, Sandy. Go forward, Shirley. Go forward, Michael. Michelle, go forward. Why are you crying unto me? 
Get up and go forward. I will be your strength. I will fight your battles. I will smite the enemy. Not the people, but I will smite the demons operating through the people. I will stop them from attacking you, says God. For Isaiah 54, 17 says, No weapon that's formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise up against you to judge you shall be shown to be in the wrong. For this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and your righteousness is of me, says the Lord. And so God says, Go forward. And but lift up your rod, Moses, and stretch out thine hand over the sea and divide it. What do you have in your hand, woman of God? What do you have in your hand, man of God? And you shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. And guess what? What? Beloved, I'm excited because I walked the scripture out. I have literally held up in my hand a rod, and I watched God change my circumstances, saying, what do you have in your hand? He will do that for, oh my gosh, he will do that for you. Hold it up. If you have nothing in you, hold your hands up and say, God, God, you are my deliverer. You are the one that parts my Red Sea. Hallelujah. I had some event in my life, and I literally crossed the Red Sea. I put all the uh, uh, information on the floor that they were threatening me. You might want to do this, okay? And or put some kind of, you know, something you have of what, whoever's, whatever's tormenting you. Make sure you forgive everybody so you're not turned over to the tormentor, okay? Got to check our hearts, make sure that our hearts are clean, and say, God, I forgive everybody from my heart, and God will forgive us. And we forgive everybody, okay? Nobody gets away with anything, beloved of God. And I put all the paperwork on the floor, and I put a bowl of water on the other side. Guess what? I stepped over the paperwork. I lifted up my hands to God. I read this, these verses to God, Exodus 14, 13 through 16. And I said, God, you're parting the Red Sea for me. Lord, you're parting the Red Sea for me. And I st physically stepped over the paperwork, over the bowl of water, big bowl of salad bowl of water, and I went to the other side. And when I got to the other side, the ground was dry. Of course, the floor was dry, and I left the paperwork behind me. I left all the cronies that were torment tormenting me behind me. I left all the sorrow behind me, and I did a victory dance, and I did a victory shout dance. Hallelujah. And you know what? It wasn't too long after that, too many days, that the tables turned, and, and God gave me the victory, and it was supernatural. And it taught me, it taught me, to act out prophetically once again, and God will bring you through. So whatever, whatever is hurting you, whatever is tormenting you, whatever is uh, bullying you, whatever is threatening you, whoever the enemy is using, read this scripture. It says, fear not, stand still. Don't get into fights with people. Stand still, quote the word. Hallelujah, to slice up the enemy. And see the salvation, the saving power of the Lord, beloved, which God will show to you today. For the enemy whom you see today, you shall see them hurting you no more forever. And the Lord shall fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. And the Lord said, Why do you cry to me? Speak, uh, uh, let me speak unto you, says God, that you go forward. And what do you do in a crisis? You go forward. Lift up your rod, lift up what's in your hand, and stretch out your hand over the situation and decree and declare in the mighty name of Jesus that the sea will divide. God, I need the Red Sea to divide. God, I need the Red Sea to open up. And God will do that for you, beloved of God. And the children of Israel shall go forth on dry ground. You are a child of God. Galatians 3.29 says, if you weren't born Jewish, if you be Christ, then are you Abraham's seed, and then are you heirs according to the promise. Hallelujah. And you shall go on dry ground in the midst of the sea. What red sea do you need to be parted, beloved of God? You see this? Live your life. That's what it says. Live your life. Are you living your life? Or are you just existing? Do you know? 
If we're still on this earth, beloved of God, we have a lot of living to do. If you don't know the Lord, God says in John, 1 John 1, 9, if we confess our sins, he, Jesus, is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Repeat after me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I repent if I'm not living right. I want to be saved. Cleanse me with your blood, O oh God. Fill me with your spirit. I'm sorry the way I've lived. I made a mess of my life. Give me purpose in my life. Save me, Jesus. I want to live for you. So when I close my eyes for the last time, I will be with you eternally forever in heaven. Thank you, Father. Your word says, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Save me, O Lord, and I shall be saved. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Thank you, Father. I am saved forever and ever. Amen and amen. Fill me with your spirit. Baptize me with your Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. Give me purpose, God. I love you, Jesus. Amen. If you prayed that prayer for the first time, find a Bible store and get a Bible. If you can't afford a Bible, beloved of God, uh, go to a church and say, I just found the Lord. Can you, can you teach me about God? Can you teach me about the things of God? Teach me about Jesus. Can you give me a Bible? And God will provide. Amen and amen. If you're a prodigal, welcome home. The Bible says the angels of God are rejoicing now. They're rejoicing now, beloved of God, because one sinner's come home. Heaven has increased because of your beautiful decision today, because of your choice. Jesus loves you. His arms are stretched out still. You're on your road now to a glorious journey with him, no matter how old you are. Amen? And so remember, beloved of God, fear not. I send the word of healing to them in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Healing them that are watching from the top of their head to the tips of their toes. Every decree and declare every part of their body would be healed by the mighty power of God. That they would sense your closeness, God, the newness of your spirit. That you, they, you would wrap your arms around them and comfort them, God. That you would heal their hearts from all that life has hurt them, God. Father, that this world has done. That you give them newness of life, God. And you would restore them all the years that the palmer worm and the canker worm and the locust has eaten away. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Amen and amen. I bless them in Jesus' name. And you know, I want to move in the gifts of the Spirit a little bit. I feel that the gifts of the Spirit welling up in me. And there is somebody that's thinking about moving to Texas. And you're not quite sure. God said, yes, 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 yes. It's a new beginning for you, and I've already prepared the way. I've already given you provision. God says, go. As you step one step out, I'm ahead of you, says God. And this is the beginning of the rest of your life. A glorious moment, says the Lord. And you know, uh, sometimes fear not, says God. Fear not, for I prepared the way. Texas awaits. I have everything provided. I have the home provided. I have the finances provided. I have the people that are needing what you have, says the Lord. I have favor provided. And along the way, don't forget to share me, says God, because people are dying every day. And their eternal bound, their eternal souls are in the balance. Wherever your feet go, I've given it to you, says God. There's another one that your child told you that she's getting married, and um, you're not approving of who she's marrying. God says, if, don't say anything anymore because the more you say something, they don't want to hear it. So just pray. Pray, pray, pray. Say, God, that's my child. All of your children shall be taught of the Lord and great shall be the peace of your children. Pray, 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 and trust God, beloved of God. Don't cry anymore. For your work shall be rewarded, says the Lord. Your children shall come back from the land of the enemy and there is hope for your future that your work shall be rewarded. There's a minister, Hebrews 6.10, this is for you, and you've been beat up, you've been broke, busted, left for dead, violated, rejected, you've been betrayed, you know, your family's left you, and, and God has never left you, okay? No matter what's going on in your life, God has never left you, beloved of God. And so, uh, God says that he'll restore to you, says God, all of your heart's desire. 
God says, Hebrews 6.10, that God is not unrighteous to forget, preacher, God is not unrighteous to forget your labor of love, which you have sown and ministered and do minister the labor of love to the saints, says God. God is not unrighteous, beloved of God. The gifts and calling of God are without repentance. So stay with God. Your work is not over yet. So you fell down. Get up. Some of you fell down, some of you didn't fall down. Some of you, you know, have been betrayed and hurt when you were innocent. Well, you know what? We all fall short of the glory of God. None of us are perfect. But the blood of Jesus, oh my gosh, that precious blood of Jesus, it forgives us, he cleanses us, First John 1, 9. If we confess our sins out of our mouth, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And you know... Don't forget, beloved of God, live your life. I love you more and more. This is Ann Finkelman, School of Prophetic Fire. Thank you for 20 minutes or so of your time. Like this video, share it, give me the love, you know, hearts. Give me, it helps the algorithm. You know, tell your friends about it. Find us on Facebook Live. Find us on Facebook, be our friends, our growing community. And find us, you can follow us as we follow Christ, the Bible says. And then find us on Rumble. Find us at ShoshanaMinistries.net. Uh, and don't forget, our daily devotional, Day by Day, is coming out. Day by Day, Encounter with God, Into the Inner Chambers of God's Spirit. Look for it, Ann Finkelman. It'll be on uh, Zulon Press. It'll be on Amazon. It'll be on, um, on Barnes & Noble. It'll be on Christian catalogs. Type in, scrolls for its glory, type in. Uh, Daily Devotional, Ann Finkelman. Haven't released the name yet because it haven't been, hasn't been published yet, but the caption is a day-by-day -day encounter with God into the inner chambers of his spirit. And Daily Devotional by Ann D. Finkelman, Shoshana Ministries International. Thank you so much for visiting with me and, and spending time with me. I know you could do many other things with your time and uh, You've chosen 25, 20 minutes to spend with me, and we're doing this part of life together. I toast to you, beloved of God, and I love you. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.